Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, Alright, A family, almost. Alright, A family, almost everyone in the house did what you guys requested. Um. Alright, A family. What's good everybody, it's Destiny Choice and you're watching Choice TV. So today's video is a conspiracy theory on the Ace Family. This is actually part two of the conspiracy. I actually did part one, so you should go fucking watch it. I'll link it down below. But this video was highly requested because so many people have told me, do an update. There's more tea. You missed a lot of shit. What are you talking about? You're missing stuff. You're just misconstruing, misconstruing a lot of things. So a lot of people were not feeling my Ace Family Conspiracy that I did it first. That video has the most hate I've ever gotten since I've been on YouTube for all of my two years. I have never gotten that much hate ever. It was a 60-40 thing. 60% of people understood that it was just a conspiracy. 40% of people were going in on me online. People was over here fucking making accounts, bashing me. People were saying things like, oh my God, you fucking little prick. I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. How dare you talk about my favorite YouTubers? Oh my God, I hope a tree fucking falls on you. I thought the Ace family, I thought the Ace family was, was positive. What the fuck is this? That backlash that I got was very unexpected, so I decided to come up with an update. So I filmed my Ace Family Conspiracy months ago, five months ago, probably back in July. And since then, the Ace Family have tried getting the video taken down. They tried getting it taken down, and they succeeded, but then they failed. Domino effect, bitch, and Ace Family for watching this. No shade to y'all, I just don't agree with some of the things that y'all have done, but real shit. It's still up, bitch. It got restored. It got restored. So I just want to do that real quick because I didn't like the fact they tried to get taken down. And some of y'all might be saying, well, they probably didn't even see your video because you know you're irrelevant because hell of people was telling me that. Well, the Ace Army actually did see the video because Catherine even admitted to seeing the video but not watching it. You, you know damn well you've seen my motherfucking video. So all I gotta say is this. How do I feel about the Ace Family? What are my overall thoughts on them? Oh, McDonald's salad. A lot of, of y'all motherfucking say I'm losing weight. So I decided to get a McDonald's salad. And I feel like there's too much fucking lettuce in here. So I bought a McChicken. Smack that bitch in here. And we good to go. Oh, I thought I lost my fork. I got an anxiety attack. So the Ace Family have done a lot of things that I don't agree with. What are my overall thoughts on them? I think their videos are boring as fuck. I used to watch them, but then I started to get bored and annoyed and repetitive. Kat Catherine just has no personality to me. She's kind of an airhead to me. Austin is okay. Elle is beautiful. A lot of people have a misconception that I was coming for their child, when it really wasn't that. People said, Oh my god, it's one thing to come for them, but they come for an innocent child, you little faggot. I'm like, whoa! Ain't nobody coming for their child. Ain't nobody coming for their child. I would never come for an innocent, poor, defenseless infant and be like, oh, she's ugly. Or, oh, y'all like, acting like I said, oh, she's ugly as fuck. Or, oh my god, this little bitch. Like, no. Like, I'm not about to come for a fucking one year old. It wasn't like that at all. It was just me addressing a conspiracy about the fact that she gets 
a lot of heat for people saying, oh my God, she looks like a white baby. She looks like an Asian baby. She looks like a Cuban baby. She doesn't look like she's black and white because Austin's black and white. And people were coming to my neck for that. A lot of people had the misconception that a lot of the theories that I was throwing out were just made up. Oh my God, you sound so stupid. <laughs> how, how, how can you say that? You sound dumb. Like people were just so in their feelings and thought everything that I said was just me. when I was just addressing theories. Ace Family overall, I don't agree with a lot of things that they've done. People have given me shit because yes, I have dragged them a couple times. Their merch is plain and overpriced as fuck. And I'm gonna be 100% real about that. And people gave me a lot of heat for that. Like people was like, oh my God, how fucking dare you talk about the Ace Family merch? How dare you Ace Family has the strongest merch in the industry? That shit plain as fuck. Like you gotta admit, like let's be real. Like stop being a sheep ass follower and straight up admit that their merch is pretty plain and overpriced. People was like, how can you say that when you use your fucking hat as a nut rag, as a cum rag? I'm like, what the fuck? Ace family are a cute family. They, they're they very successful. They've done a lot in this industry and they're gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger because people just fucking love them. And me making this video isn't gonna make people unfollow them. But I know I'm talking too damn much and I just wanna get into these motherfucking theories and it's so much tea. Good Lord. The shit I found and the shit that was sent to me, we have you look at the, looking at them so differently. They're liars. I don't respect liars. Part of part of what I do, what I do, like I do what I do because I don't respect people who come up and blow up and have a come up because they lie. Like if your foundation is built off of lies, I have a problem with it. And some people might say things like Oh my god, but so what if they took one or two lies? They're still successful, they're still a beautiful family, and they're still cute, and they still have more subscribers than you. Okay. But y'all wasn't saying that, I was saying that, but I was talking shit about DMB Nation. When it was DMB Nation, it was like, oh yeah, fuck them. But when it was the Ace family, it was like, okay, you're reaching, you're doing too much. They're an amazing family. Shut up! So the first conspiracy I'm gonna talk about and debunk. I actually addressed this in my first video, is Catherine being an escort. And this, this is going to be straight to the point. Catherine has dead the rumors. She went on Twitter and she also said how, um, like, I don't know how that rumor started. Like, those are stupid bullshit rumors. She feels like they're rumors. And her saying those are rumors is her basically saying they're lies and they're not made up. So the best thing we could do is take her word for it, but there are things fueling these rumors because there's pictures like this going around. So this picture, as you can see, was posted by Taz Williams. Taz Williams posted this on his Facebook years ago, 2013, 2012. He posted this years ago. And this is for people who don't know who Taz Williams is, Taz Williams is the owner, founder of Taz's Angels. Taz's Angels is an escort company. It's an escort company where beautiful women work for the company and they go on dates with rich men or celebrities or escort people to parties and events and all this extra stuff. These women usually can get paid up to 800 to six grand. These women make a lot of fucking money. So at the end of the day, her friend Chantel Jeffries makes everybody believe that Catherine was in it too. Because Ch Chantel Jeffries, that's confirmed. She was a part of Taz's Angel. That's confirmed. But Catherine dead the rumors and said that it wasn't true. But why would Taz Williams post a, a picture of you saying, oh, so we got this girl right here and we got Catherine P. Why would he post that picture? So this just has everybody like, hmm, is Catherine lying? Is Catherine making this shit up? Who knows? But I don't know if y'all heard, a recent conspiracy just flew out of nowhere ever since Catherine denied being an escort. It's also a brand new conspiracy that Catherine was a stripper. She confirmed it herself years ago on Snapchat. I believe this was 2013, 2014. She's on their knees from, from stripping though, not from fucking acting. Well, I know, but your movie <laughs> role is like... Who knows, maybe she was stripping for a party, maybe she was playing around, but Catherine, with all her friends in the in the Snapchat, were just talking, and she just out of nowhere said that the bruises on her knees came from stripping. I guess it couldn't make a lot of sense, 
And also, I don't know if y'all know this, but if y'all if y'all ever seen their radio interview on Power 105, Captain said this. Overseas looks weren't good enough for my family going all the way overseas. Okay. So I was like, damn, we got to put food food on the table. Yeah, now what we were you financially during all this? It was tough. It was tough. It was well, tough. Well, yeah. luckily, I've worked hard my entire life and had so much in savings that I was like, you know, we got this. Like, we're going to like see what happens if we go overseas or we don't go overseas, you know, like... Everything's gonna work out for us. And but it was tough. Luckily, it, was tough. it did. She said when she was younger, she worked very, very hard, and she had like a savings account and all that. And in one video, she said she had a savings account of over 10k, and it's like, hmm. So what did you do, Kat? Did you work at McDonald's? Were you flipping burgers or were you shaking some ass? I'm not gonna over sit over here and make assumptions about anything. All I want to, all I want to know is this, like. What did Catherine do to save 17k in a, a, a couple months to a year? What did she do? Next conspiracy we have is the craziest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. So, Catherine has said some really insane shit. Oh my goodness. This is one of the reasons why I don't watch the Ace Family because her mouth annoys me. She says some of the most dumbest shit. She's a beautiful girl. She's a gorgeous girl. They're a cute family, but she says the dumbest Shit. When I first started YouTube, um, you know, before I started YouTube, I was really into like doing my hair and doing my makeup, yeah. you know, like I was really into that kind of stuff. And then I realized there's a certain point to how you like, I don't know how to describe, uh, describe it. Like when you start YouTube, you don't want to intimidate people. You know, you want to be able to be more personal. Catherine said things that were really offensive towards the black community. She said things like this. Now I know some of y'all are thinking, well, that's not that serious. Yeah, she might have said the N-word at a Drake concert because Drake says the N-word. She was just reciting the lyrics to a song or she was just playing around with her friends. Okay. But this video also got leaked of Catherine. So I'm in my car and I'm in the ghetto and I have to walk by those people right there. As a woman, do you know how stressful that is? I'm in my car and I'm in the ghetto and I have to walk by those people right there. As a woman, do you know how stressful that is? A couple years ago on Snapchat, she wanted to be like, oh, guys, you know, I'm, uh, I don't want to get out of the car because I don't want to walk past these people. Who the f what, what, what the hell do you mean these people? What the fuck is these people? What do you mean when you say these people? When she did, says these people, I mean, some people without the excuse, well, she's married to a black and white man. Oh, uh, that don't mean shit. That don't mean shit. I'll be the first person to tell you this right now. That don't mean shit. A white woman could date a damn black man and still put some type of way about black women and still be a part of the whole cultural appropriation thing. That don't mean shit. All I'm saying is this. What she said was so fucking offensive. What if, I don't know. She could have met... When she said these people, she could have meant guys. She could have meant, oh, I don't want to walk past those guys. But why the hell she didn't say that? Why the hell did she say these people? And why did she also emphasize the fact that she was in the ghetto? I don't know. This is kind of weird to me. And this makes me assume and look at Catherine some type of way. Like, uh, what the hell do you mean these people? Because if you're bold enough to post some shit like this on your Snapchat, what else are you bold enough to say off camera? And Catherine has no excuse. You might say, well, she was younger back then. She didn't know any better. Uh, 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 no. Catherine is, I believe, 27 going on 28. I believe so. When Catherine said this, she was either 24 or 25. She was damn sure older than 21 when she said these things. That's no excuse. You're older than 21. You saying that and recording on Snapchat and not thinking people are going to have a problem with this is a little bit too far, way too much. And I really, really wish... Catherine would have spoke on this and apologized. Maybe she doesn't want to bring it up because she doesn't want to bring the issue to life. Because if she does bring an issue to life and give a platform and a voice to the things that she did in the past and all the horrible things she did, it'll just make rumors worse. That's why, why do you think celebrities don't respond 
to people saying, oh my God, I fuck Drake and I have a baby. Why do I think they don't respond to shit like that? Because the more you respond to rumors, the more fuel and energy you give them because then you give them a bigger voice and a bigger platform and then you say, oh my God, uh, Drake said this, I'm gonna do some investigation. But Catherine says some really fucked up offensive shit that rubbed me the wrong way, it makes me cringe and it was just disgusting. It makes me look at her some type of way. And it's just like, why didn't she apologize? Like, why would she post that shit on Snapchat? Like, Catherine is just a fucking airhead for doing that. She should have known better. She was grown when she posted that shit. I don't care what nobody says. She was grown. Overciting the words to the N word saying, uh, nigga this, nigga that. Like, like you were signing lyrics to a rap song. I don't care too much. All I see is like this. If, so, if a white person says the N word, I'm from Miami. I, Miami is a very exotic place. We have Asians, Native Americans, like, all sorts of races in different parts of Miami and there's a lot of mixed people and there's a lot of Hispanic people and white people who have said the n-word around me I grew up around a lot of people who said the n-word different races different cultures period like I grew up around a lot of Hispanic people that said it black people white people who said it so I don't care too much it makes me cringe inside when I hear a white person say it like whatever because I don't care that much it's all about the context in which you use it if you say Oh, what's good, my nigga? Then I don't give a fuck. But if you say, oh, bitch, ask me to go pick some cotton, then bitch, I want to fight. But other than that, there's like there's nothing wrong with her rapping the lyrics to saying the N word. But as far as her saying these people and emphasizing the fact that she was in the ghetto, yeah, uh, this, that's not okay. Another conspiracy I have is a video of Austin disrespecting and body shaming women. In case y'all didn't see the video, here it is. What they do, people? What's good? You are now tuned in with me, Austin McBroom, me, Trey P. And we want to share a little something with y'all. A little something, something. We want to share an issue, a major issue in today's society. Huge issue. We want to share something that everybody knows, but too scared to say. We're talking about brothers who mistaken these fat girls for being thick. If your girl is walking with you and her shoelace get untied, but she can't bend down to, to tie it, she gotta sit down to tie it, her ass down, sorry, she not thick. If your girl, her fingers look like a bunch of sausages that you can just eat, <laughs> She's not thick. Walking around like she missed pretty. But her stomach hang out more than her booty do. She not thick. No, no. Sorry, fellas. Sorry. If your girl, in order to put deodorant on, gotta mess around, lift her titty up, and then put the dang deodorant on, eh, hey, you gotta drop it afterwards and go pop. Sorry, she's not thick. So this video of Austin is starting to resurface. They haven't spoken on it. It hasn't really gone viral, but people are sharing it and people are seeing it and people are giving Austin a lot of shit about this. But why? Because Austin posted this on his YouTube channel. Austin had a YouTube channel. Well, I don't know if a fan posted this. No, fuck that. Maybe Austin posted this because Austin wasn't popping back in 2012. This video was posted five years ago, five to six years ago, almost six years ago. Where he was basically saying, oh my god, you are like, like fat women, y'all like elephants, like this and this and that. Like comparing thick women and fat women and saying, nah, thick women, you gotta have that hourglass body shape. Basically, that rubbed a lot of women the wrong way because their main demographics is women. Women, young girls, teenage girls. A lot of girls really love and look up to them, so that was definitely not okay for Austin to say that. Austin was grown when he posted this video. Austin was 18, 19, so maybe he should have known better. People have given me shit for body shaming in the past. People have said things like, oh my god, how can you call somebody a fat back and pretty shaped ass bitch when you built like a big ass zero? And it's like, I use the whole talking shit about fat people, and I even talk shit about myself for being big and not being in the best shape ever. And I use it in a comedic standpoint. And I see, people have, uh, I, I see it in a comedic standpoint. Maybe Austin was just joking because Austin, I see it like this. Austin had like the, the video all edited, like his voice was all speaking like this, like he had it edited. He was just joking. 
But then again, of course, I can understand why it might offend people. Give people give me shit all the time. Oh my God, you're body shaming women. You're body shaming women. But I body shame myself. And when I body shame myself, don't nobody say nothing because I'm body shaming myself. But when it comes to me body shaming women and saying, oh my God, this fat back computer shaped ass bitch or Damien big ass, I'm talking shit about everybody. Like I'm coming for everybody. And I do it to myself as well. And I use it in a comedic view. Am I going to stop doing it? Probably not. Is it okay? Probably not. Shit, fucking no. As a matter of fact, it's not okay. And I can understand why Adam said what he said. Cause he, And Austin said it as a joke. People took it the wrong way. I can understand why people were upset. Austin looks like a hypocrite because he has said in the past in videos saying, look, Every woman is beautiful. Every woman, no matter what shape, size, you're, you're beautiful. Like, he has said stuff like that. And him posting stuff like this six, five years ago on the internet kind of contradicts himself. Because it's like, wait, 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 you body shame women, but you're saying all women are beautiful no matter what. Like, no matter what size and shape. And that just makes him look a certain way. That video has so much backlash. And it only has backlash because Austin is such a popular public figure and he uplifts women all the time and uplifts Captain all the time for being beautiful no matter what and to see this this just rubs everybody the wrong way i feel like austin should take the video now like austin this was your old youtube channel from 2011 2012 take the video down or apologize for it at the end of the day because eventually this video will resurface because they're being bigger and bigger in their careers and eventually this video might surface and slap them right in the face because i feel like they'll delete the video now It'll just get worse. Austin's situation and Catherine's situation, they were both young saying stupid shit. At, Catherine said something racist. Adam said something that could be perceived as body shaming. Catherine said something that could be perceived as racism. But at the end of the day, they both have never apologized or ever spoke on it. These are things that you posted on in the past. People might see that, but you're exposing them and ruining their career. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing shit. I, I see it like this. This is all public. I found all this stuff on the internet. So stuff like this was posted with their knowledge, knowingly them being grown, posting it, not thinking, thinking, oh, okay, it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal, but in reality, you guys having a fan makes you are, you guys trying to, trying to be this G-rated couple, it makes you look hypocritical, it makes you look like a liar. Another big conspiracy that everybody has is Austin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This shit, mm. I'm not even hungry anymore. Miss, oh, God. McDonald's salads are not healthy at all. Another huge conspiracy everybody has is Austin and Catherine lied about buying their mansion. So in case y'all didn't know, Austin and Catherine, the eighth family, live in a huge mega mansion, a huge, amazing mansion, a beautiful mansion with five bedrooms. But they said that they own it. How do I know this? Because Austin put a post up on Instagram when he first got the house, did a tour and all that stuff. And in this caption, he says, I'm so blessed to have my own house. Pictures leaked and information leaked and eventually people found their address. Why? Because the Ace family are dumb as hell. They vlogged their entire house from the outside to the backyard to the entrance to the gate. That's not safe at all. Like, that's not safe. That's very creepy. People know where they live. People can pull up to their crib and rob them. Yes, they have cameras. Yes, they have a gate. But people can catch them off guard. People can wait for them to get out of their damn house, follow them to wherever they're going because that's just not safe. Or what if they go on vacation and somebody breaks into their home rather than security or rather than it's cameras or not? So it's not safe for them. And I feel like Eventually, when they do become bigger and bigger, they're going to say, oh, guys, we're moving out because, you know, um, we, we, we want to sell our house because, you know, people know where, where we live. No, you should have known better, bitch. People been knowing where you live. Even when they lived in their last apartment, people found out where they lived in the first place. So why the hell would they vlog it? I don't know. I thought it was kind of fishy and kind of weird when they did move in the house and vlog the whole damn thing. Obviously, when people could find out where they live, that's not safe since they do have a child. But Austin and Captain did not buy their house because if you go on the internet and you type in their address and yes it was that easy to find their fucking address <laughs> whoa if i want to i could pull up there right now and ask the ass why they're doing fake pranks but long story short their address is on the internet and often in captain if you type in their address and you look up who owns the house
That ain't their name. Somebody else owns the house. Who knows? They, could, they probably could have got a co-signer. But when I looked even further, come to find out the house was currently being rented out for $17,000 a month. Five bedrooms, $17,000 a month. The house is currently being rented out. So the Ace Army lied about buying their house. Their, their house is literally rented, and that's perfectly fine. You can rent a house. Y'all got bread like that to, to rent out a $17,000 house? Who knows? Because at the end of the day, some YouTubers can't prove their income or show paychecks or pay stubs or show bank statements because a lot of our money, sometimes you can't just go to a real estate agent or a company and be like, oh, yeah, I make YouTube videos, so, yeah, um, let me buy this house because I got money. They're, they're going to look at you like you're dumb as fuck because you sometimes cannot prove income like that. But they still make a lot of money from merch. I don't know. Maybe their credit wasn't good. Maybe somebody co-signed it. I don't know. But at the same time, why would they lie about buying their house? And some of y'all might be saying this. How do you know? How do you know all this stuff that you're seeing is fake? How do you know that they really didn't buy the house from a private owner? Austin's brother basically snitched on him. And it's not opening. Oh no. Oh, hey. oh baby. Bro, I would call the owner and ask him about the history of his house. Baby, tell me about that drawer. Okay. Call about the history of his house. So call the owner and ask him about the history of his house. Baby, tell me about that drawer. Okay. Call about the history of his house. In this video that you just seen, Austin's brother basically said, oh, you guys should call the owners about this ghost. Because basically they posted a video titled Ghost in Our House. So basically, apparently their house is haunted. Apparently their house, is, their house is fucking haunted. And since their house is haunted, they were over here asking their brother and friends for their opinions. And his brother said, oh, if I were you, I would call the owner and ask him for a record of this house. Call the owner. There's the owner right in front of you. The owner is your brother. He right in front of you. What you gonna do? You gonna call Austin? Austin gonna call himself? Austin gonna call himself? No, clearly Austin is not the owner of his house because his brother said call the owner. Isn't Austin the owner though? Don't they own the house? Hmm. What else have they been lying about? People say, but so what? Why talk about them though? I have a problem with people building a foundation, building so much off of lies, which is why I do what I do. I don't appreciate people who come on social media or like lie just to get everything they do because yes you guys do make amazing amazing not to me but to some people yes y'all do make amazing videos that attain the world y'all have inspired people help people get through depression y'all have done so much but for what cost when you have to lie all the time lies on top of lies on top of lies on top of lies to constantly build your brand to constantly make people like you to constantly make more money at what cost though like is it all worth it is all this money that you gain so fast is all this internet success that you gained throughout a year really worth all the lies that y'all told because y'all can't sit up here and call me a hater because based off what i showed y'all they lied they seriously lied but at the end of the day they got money like that to rent out a house good for y'all why not get a mortgage they probably got a private owner but obviously Austin is not the owner. They clearly are renting the house and they clearly lied for views. The next conspiracy we have is Catherine's surgeries. Now we all know this, I said this in my last conspiracy that the only surgery Catherine has ever had, according to her, is her breast. The only thing she's ever gotten was breast, a breast augmentation, like a procedure to make your breast look more plump, make, make your breast look more good. Her breasts look great at the end of the day, People give her a lot of shit for saying, oh my God, you got lip injections, you probably got your butt done. I don't know if she got her butt done because um, to me, she got a triangle booty. But anyways, Catherine got way more than her breast done. She got her nose done. How do you know? How do you know? Well, look at this before and after picture. Okay, some of y'all might, might be saying, well, that's just from the side. Well, let's look at a closer picture from when Catherine was 13, 14. Puberty turned her nose into a Kylie Jenner nose? Clearly not. Clearly Catherine lied about the surgery that she's gotten. And some of y'all might say, well, I mean, she never said that 
you know, da, da, da. no, she clearly said in a video four years ago, five years ago on Snapchat, which I don't know what Catherine's problem is with Snapchat. All right, I just want to make something clear. Real, real, real breast augmentation. I really don't know what's so hard to believe by that. Real, I don't know what the fuck she was grabbing when she did that. Cause she got a triangle booty to me. I don't care. Catherine ain't got no fucking ass. But she was like, real, real breast augmentation. What's so hard about that? She claims the only thing fake on her is her boobs. That's it. But come to find out, her nose is clearly done. Clearly. And some people even believe that she got a lip fit. Some people believe her lips have even been done. Today, I'm all for pro confidence. If you think getting your ass done, your titties done, your lips done, your nose done, eyes done, whatever you, your, your vagina done, whatever you think fits you, whatever thing you, you think is good for you, do it. Like, if you want surgery, do it. At the end of the day, I don't care because it's not my body. If it's your, it's your body, it's your choice. You want more, you want more ass? Fuck it, do it. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do that shit. Fucking do it. Like, don't let nobody alter your motherfucking opinion just because of their personal perspective. If you want surgery, a picture. Okay, some of y'all might, might be saying, well, that's just from the side. Well, let's look at a closer picture from when Catherine was 13, 14. Puberty turned her nose into a Kylie Jenner nose? Clearly not. Clearly Catherine lied about the surgery that she's gotten. And some of y'all might say, well, I mean, she never said that, you know, da, da, da. no. She clearly said in a video four years ago, five years ago on Snapchat, which I don't know what Catherine's problem is with Snapchat. All right, I just want to make something clear. Real, real, real breast augmentation. I really don't know what's so hard to believe by that. Real, I don't know what the fuck she was grabbing when she did that. Cause she got a triangle booty to me. I don't care. Catherine ain't got no fucking ass. But she was like, real, real breast augmentation. What's so hard about that? She claims the only thing fake on her is her boobs. That's it. But come to find out, her nose is clearly done. Clearly. And some people even believe that she got a lip fit. Some people believe her lips have even been done. Today, I'm all for pro confidence. If you think getting your ass done, your titties done, your lips done, your nose done, eyes done, whatever you, your, your vagina done, whatever you think fits you, whatever thing you, you think is good for you, do it. Like, if you want surgery, do it. At the end of the day, I don't care because it's not my body. If it's your, it's your body, it's your choice. You want more, you want more ass? Fuck it, do it. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do that shit. Fucking do it. Like, don't let nobody alter your motherfucking opinion just because of their personal perspective. If you want surgery, then go fucking do it. But I just see like this. Catherine, what is, what, why you gotta lie? At the end of the day, it's your